Kate joins us now with our forecast, and I guess we're going through the three H's, hazy, hot, and humid. The three H's. Here, here. We talk about the three C's, clear, cold, and calm. Yeah. We don't have any of that going on no. anytime soon. That's what we talk about in the winter, and that's that would sound really nice right about now. Wouldn't it, now. though? Just a little cool, chill. Cool, clear, and calm. But, mm. no, it's hazy, it's hot, it's humid, it and it's not going to break anytime soon, although it does get marginally better as we head toward the 4th of July holiday. A lot of people have this week off. Hopefully, you do as well, and you're down the shore. But but if you don't, we are sweltering here in the city. Let's take a look at what's going on on Storm Scan 3 to start you off here. We do have some storms firing up across central Pennsylvania. Now, you may look at this radar image and think, oh, look at that. It's a nice cold front. It's going to sweep through tonight. It's going to clear us out. It's going to cool us down. Not so fast, my friend. This front is not coming through tonight. This front's going to fizzle out and stay off to the west. You can see the storms are really not moving west to east at all. Just showers and thunderstorms. A few warnings across central and western Pennsylvania, but we're not going to really get any appreciable relief as far as a strong cold front moving through until the end of the work week. So a lot of people are down the shore. Water temperatures are coming up in some spots. The water temp in Cape May right now is 77 degrees, but as you head up the coast, it's a little bit cooler. Seattle City right now, a water temp of only 62. That's cold. Atlantic City at 69. Lewis, Delaware at 76 degrees for the shore goers and it is hot down the shore, but nothing like it is inland. We've hit our high today, 96 degrees. We may sneak another degree in there, but it'll be close. 96 the high, not a record. 97 in Allentown, 94 in Wilmington. The record, by the way, is 103. So even though it feels like the worst heat we've ever felt, it's still a solid seven degrees shy of the record. Temperatures right now down the shore a little bit better. We've got that sea breeze that likes to pick up in the afternoon. Right now it's 85 in Stone Harbor, 83 in Ocean City, and it's 85 in Cape May. So feeling pretty good down the shore. Can't say the same, of course, for Philadelphia. Our average high is 86. Our high so far today, a full 10 degrees above that. And certainly this time of the year, when you get a 10 degree departure from normal, you know that really we're suffering through some extreme heat. And of course, it feels like about 103. Future weather shows nothing going on tonight. The storms stay to the west. Tomorrow, a couple of scattered things popping in the afternoon. And then as we head into the 4th of July, good news for barbecues, good news for fireworks. It looks like most of those pop-up afternoon storms are going to stay to the north and west. We can't rule one out later in the day on Wednesday, but it looks like for the most part, your 4th of July plans will go off without a hitch. And we've got some better news as far as the heat index is concerned. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll still feel like the triple digits, but by 4th of July, still feeling hot. Here's Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Still feels like 96 degrees. The fact that that's a break in the heat is pretty telling as far as what we've been living through. 96 is what it will feel like around 5 o'clock on Wednesday for your 4th of July barbecue. Not as bad not as sweltering, and that's why, of course, the excessive heat warning does not last through Wednesday. It'll expire tomorrow at 8. So overnight tonight, it's mainly clear, it's warm, and it's muggy. Our overnight low is 79 degrees. Some spots may not even drop below 80 tonight, and not a lot of wind either. Not really a breeze to cool you off. Winds are out of the south at 5 miles an hour. Tomorrow, hot again, just a hit or miss afternoon thunderstorm. 95 is the high. We've been pretty much steady around 95 through the weekend today, close to 95. Tomorrow, 95 again, but once again, feeling like the triple digits. And your eyewitness weather seven day forecast, well, not quite as bad on the 4th of July. 91 degrees will be the high for the 4th. Still hot, certainly, but again, it's a little bit more bearable. Thursday, a late day thunderstorm at 92, and then the front comes through that will really change things for the better. Friday, showers and storms at 88. Saturday, a morning storm, then we clear it out. Saturday afternoon is like the holy grail after what we've been <laughs> suffering through this week. 83, low humidity, sunny, yeah. and Sunday looks fantastic. This coming weekend is going to be beautiful. Sounds and looks that. good. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Kate. Mm -hmm.